So I'm going to boldly go where no man has gone before, and I'm going to ask the assholes here this evening for some advice because I have to make some changes in my dieting. So uh, we'll see how that goes. This is United A-Holes, a video cast discussing cultural topics with no filter. Welcome back to Area 41, Jenny Craig's favorite spot on the internet. <laughs> nice. Did, Jen, she, uh, did she found curves? <laughs> did she found Weight something? Watchers. Was it Weight Watchers? Oh, no, it's Jenny no, Craig's Jenny Craig. It's Jenny Craig. Yeah, Jenny Jenny Craig's system. System. She's a competition. Where does hey, she stand Jenny on Craig. vaccines? This is my system. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-vaxxing. Um, now, we're here to talk about diets. Is that what you want to discuss? Well, here's the deal. Begin long diatribe now. <laughs> <laughs> Old man Ken's on the soapbox again. <laughs> hey, easy. Fuck sure somebody's that. cut the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> That's funny. It looks, it's, it's stuck to the cup. We haven't had Josh get the giggles yet. This could be the night. This could be the night. No, wait, that this probably wouldn't happen night. if she was drinking more. No, <laughs> it wouldn't condensate that fast. What are you talking about, Ken? Um, so I got to make some changes in my diet because the last few years I've been uh, trying to go to the gym and it's gotten to the point now where I can't go to the gym because my, my neck and my shoulder are just absolutely fucked. I can get three or four days in and then I have to rest for like two to three weeks before Switch hands. it goes back and everything. I, fuck, I... <laughs> can you, fuck, can I'm, you, can I'm you, so good I can use my feet now. For <laughs> I just want to bring something up. Fuck. This is going to relate to a previous episode, but I want to bring something up. If his neck's in that bad of shape, there's no way he's going to be king of that fucking island. <laughs> Not fucking happening. That's right. We'd be eating him by day four. No, no. Okay. No, he's going to be wandering back down the mountain looking for a back grow. I'm also the one who came up with the coconuts. Yes. Yes. Which we found out later was dangerous. <laughs> also, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> that outside covering. Yeah. I've, I've never tried. Area, so, area 41 labs have tested it. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Were well, you in the bathroom? <laughs> So you need to make some changes, Ken. So I need to make some changes. And so I went on the internet and I thought, well, I'll Google to see what, you know, is out there available. And I kept on running into the top 25 diets or fads that do not work. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if I throw this out to the assholes and uh, see what their take and advice is, and just to see if actually one lands on this list. Um, and we can debate uh, the pros and the cons. So, I've been on keto before, as you as you know, and right now I am at 215. I've been down to 187. And I was doing that and the gym at the same time. Mm -hmm. Fairly successfully, but it's gotten to the point now where I, I just can't do the gym for more than like two or three days and I have to take a long extended period off. So we'll start with, since you're on my left, what do you think I should do? The only diet that works, absolutely only diet that works is discipline. Yep. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what Get one you pick. Get a leather whip. Flash, <laughs> 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 yourself. Um, Beat the weight off. Doesn't matter what one you pick. They all, all diets, for the most part, you pick one, whether it's low calorie intake, whether yeah. it's keto, whether it's all vegetarian, doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever one you pick. I like the Fanta diet. The Fanta diet's a good <laughs> one. It doesn't matter what diet you pick. It all comes down to discipline. That's what it took for me, was discipline. Yeah. The keto works for me on the sole fact that those types of foods are the foods that I like. I can still be content eating what I want while on keto. That was exactly my reason for doing keto. So it's easier for me to be disciplined while on keto. If I had to go calorie restriction strictly, I would fail within a week. Absolutely fail within a week. 
because if I didn't limit it down to something that gave me the satiety of such as fats that make me feel full, I would fail because I would probably eat my calorie count on carbs and die. And fail. It would be a complete failure for me. Have you ever tried tracking your calorie intake? No. My fitness pal or one of those apps. No. The, the Fitbit does it because it's tracking your burn what you're right. burning. Yeah, and Brent can, is my fitness pal. <laughs> and you can, you can put in what you eat and you, you put in apple and then it lists down to green apple, whatever, and then it tells you, you go, okay, I ate the, one of those at lunchtime and I had a green salad with whatever. So you can actually, there's a gauge there that tells you, okay, you're, you're in the zone where you're okay to go home and you've still got 2,000 calories left you can eat. And if you eat proper foods, then, then, then you have a way to track it. Because I agree with Randy, but I would go one step further and say, you need to have some measuring stick to know where you're at every single day, because that's what worked for me last year was, and we've talked about this before, diet and exercise. So, Again, right. And it both a discipline to do that. You do. That, I think that's what well, he's saying. It doesn't right. matter what you do, you have to do it. Right. But that's what helped me with the discipline. Right. Was See, I have zero discipline. Me too. Okay. Zero. Yeah. I yeah, no your discipline. first realization is that a diet isn't going to work because most people think of a diet as I'm going to do this, it's going to make me less fat, and then I'm going to go back to normal. No. Yeah. It's a lifestyle change. Right. Your shitty right. life got you to this shitty place. You need to change your shitty place. Let a shitty life. Hey, Faith. <laughs> okay. Keep track of that one, bitch. Better go back and watch again. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag shitty life. Oh, damn. You know what the worst part is? Now I'm like, oh, I wonder. Fuck. <laughs> if you're wondering, uh, Brent's been going back through previous episodes to get ready for some big reveal later of how many things we've done and who Mr. Many... Awesome is. <laughs> uh huh. Um, <laughs> interestingly enough, while I was doing my research, it got down to like the very first one on the list that they said is absolutely ridiculous was gluten free diet. And then it got all the way down to the ones, and the ones that from 20 down to 25 were like, they're really not bad for you. And actually... I would argue if you're celiac, gluten-free diet's probably not as bad. Say, it's a thing. But yeah. it's a weight loss technique? I can't imagine. But I think... No, but that's what they shit. said, exactly yeah. what you Ken said. Ken is as talking a about loss. the capital GF, gluten-free diet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Live this life and yeah. you'll yeah. lose weight. Like, yeah. Um, Keto was number 24, and they said keto was great and everything. They said it's better if you actually do work out. If you do keto, it said it's better for you if you actually do go to the gym. Wouldn't that, that be true? makes sense because, because when I was what? going to the gym and when I was on keto and I got all the way down to 187. Yeah, I never I went to really the gym. Good. I lost I didn't, weight. I, I know. keto. Yeah, I, I know. Never well, I would to. argue but, any diet is better if you go to the gym. But you don't look overweight. Yeah. But at the Not same anymore. time, too, you wouldn't be, you know, classed as like being like no, in I'm great not. shape. I'm not you're like an Undertaker. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's it's the height. When you're taller, you can hide it. Yeah. Because when I tell people my weight, they go really. So, I, keep, I keep telling them at, that at the border, and it never works. <laughs> <laughs> telling them what at the border? If you're tall enough, you can hide. You look like that. the Undertaker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone ever tell you you look like the Undertaker? So what? If you're over five seven, you're allowed to have people in your trunk. <laughs> so, okay. So let's take the the gym thing out of it. Regardless, you you, you need to change. <laughs> <laughs> you need to change your your eating habits. To get I tried Hello Fresh. Yep. And. But to be fair, you also ate a tub of ice cream and say you got a box of Hello Fresh. <laughs> Not really helping your case. A tub of ice cream. Yeah. The day that your Hello Fresh box was on the counter and we were recording, you came out here with a tub of ice cream and ate it out of the dish. I remember oh, yeah, that. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Discipline. Yeah. I said, I, as discipline. I said before, I have no discipline. So, all right. I'm so, ambidextrous at a few certain things and everything, but I, I don't have no discipline. I have a theory, and what? this is a perfect spot to bring it up. You okay. said you don't have any any willpower to to stick to it i love food i love you know. right so i think you need to find out and i'm certainly not the one to help you with this it's just my idea to find out why you don't have the willpower what is it 
Is it something that you can overcome to gain the willpower? Is it to do with... Well, I'm sure there's how, nothing that, you know, is, 25 hours a week on a fucking couch. No, that's what I mean. Things. Like, is there is there some help in that regards where, where eating... It, people talk about eating their feelings. When you eat that ice cream, you feel better. So it's like, ah, there you go. And then later on you go, well... Fuck, that was stupid. I know I've done it. Potato well, chip. I have a very addictive my- personality. Getting back to um, the episode that we did on cannabis uh, yeah. and B, yeah. you know, the question was posed, like, why? Yeah. You know, am why I not no interested? THC? Why no THC? It's because I have a very addictive personality. You're scared of it. But I'm not one of those guys. You know, I was a hot knife king in my early 20s and late teens. And <laughs> that was a serious you know, killer name. Yeah. That, that, that was what they called me in the Dude, press. Dude, the hot knife. <laughs> I mean, but, that wasn't me. No. <laughs> you mean drama troupe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I, it's not like I've never been high before. So I would say your first step would be don't bring it in the house. Right. Don't yeah. go to the grocery store hungry and yeah. don't bring that shit home. That'd be your first place to get some discipline. The boundaries are set at the grocery store. But, so here's another thought. No that. touching. <laughs> what if you had somebody shop for you? Which is what HelloFresh is trying to do, partially. But you have to stay out of the grocery store, period. HelloFresh is healthy, but also HelloFresh does use sugar. Yeah. And they do have a lot of stuff that you probably shouldn't put in your system yeah, as well, hearts. too. <laughs> they try and, and get it so that this is the amount of food that you need. Right there. That's all you need in a meal, besides your fist. <laughs> Just re- that's that's never your dad. So <laughs> if there's a, if there, and you'll never eat If there's again. a little bit of sugar in there, if there's a little bit of fat, right as you, oh, 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 oh. Right as you were putting your there's fist, I've heard that before. Before. <laughs> that before. That's what you need for a meal. That's that's what I've read. It's wet enough. I can probably put it on. <laughs> it's not a meal. Uh, some people so, get to eat more than others. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. I'm big. going to Ryan's house for food. <laughs> How big is your fitness? <laughs> it can be a bird. <laughs> yeah, I think you said both hands. <laughs> there you go. That's a good size steak. Yeah, I, I would say, A, you need to pick your plan that works for you. So find a diet that has foods in it that you like. So I would argue, the as much as... Diet. I, See it, I eat it, yeah. But I would argue that keto doesn't work for you for the fact that there's there's foods that you're not willing to give up. Ice cream. <laughs> okay, but don't so give calorie them restriction up. is the answer there. Right. The calorie don't, rest- don't give those foods up. Limit yourself to on how much less of them. So right. calorie eat, restriction diet. This is what Patty and I did. This is a few years back, and it worked. We weekends were. Have, or the whatever, bowl. have whatever you wanted to. Saturday, Sunday, you, I mean, within reason, you can't gorge yourself sick. Through the week, you eat. <laughs> Actually, if you gorge yourself Wait. sick, then it comes back out, you're good again. Well, okay, so here's the new plan. <laughs> the finger plan. <laughs> the bulimia diet. <laughs> hey, bulimia is not funny. Why am I laughing? <laughs> I was going to say. Because you're an asshole. <laughs> George Carlin. They were going to name it the Fork and Bucket, but good sense prevailed. <laughs> <laughs> the Lonely Chef. Start without me, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I would say. I'm going to make it out through you, woman. <laughs> Maybe you don't buy So, fire. if you eat decently through the week, mm-hmm. you can have some ice cream. On the weekend, I'm assuming sweets is your go-to. What's your what's your? Co- no, I'm not a, a big. Uh, no, but what's your cocaine of food? My cocaine of food. Cocaine. <laughs> well, I, well, I eat oh, sugar. My food. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what, what is it you go looking for when you're snackish? Sweets or salt? No. Snackish. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, you're like mm, when you're I'm snackery. Not, I'm not a big snacker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I have I like ice cream, but, but I, I don't have it. I don't even have. Hey, I'm not right a now. big no, bop. I like to eat food, food. Yeah, but okay. you know, like when somebody well, says, "I made this for my for my meal for my meal for my family of eight. Well, that's <laughs> what my, that's fuck? my that's my food intake for supper, right? Okay. So it's not necessary. So yours is portion control. Yeah, that would be a portion of it, and then holy fuck, that was a knee slapper. Oh wow. <laughs> Um, fuck off. 
you asshole. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, you fucker. I know. Uh, he I'm came listening. to a room full of fucking overweight people for diet advice. <laughs> what the fuck does he hey. expect to happen? <laughs> I was 279 pounds this time last year. And how much do you weigh now? I am 274. Do we have a chip for Brent? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, I was fatter. No, too. because potato chips are my cocaine of food. That's the one thing I go look. It doesn't matter. I don't fucking care. It doesn't. It's and if I don't own. have them, if I don't shit have them chips? in the house, shit chips. If I don't have them in the house, I'll go. Uh, I will go to the bins where they're like, yeah, we're getting rid of these uh, Indian curry spice chips <laughs> for sixty nine cents a bag. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll take them all. <laughs> And everybody in the house would be like, those things stink if I have their chips. <laughs> Indian curry chips. I, I've had stuff with weird, like stuff I couldn't even pronounce on the bag. I'd be like, yeah, sure, I'll find that stuff. That's good, though. Potatoes. It is so it is good. PC tandoori chicken. Oh, my God. Those oh, are that's good stuff. Those are good stuff, yeah. What? Tandoori chicken. The president. The president's did choice choose. stuff. It's true. So if I don't have chips in the house. Tandoori? I, tandoori. Tandoori chicken. No, I want to try that. What's Tandoori. It's a spice. It's a it's, it's a, a word that goes it's before like chicken. Sesh, it's like Szechuan. It's like what'd you say? It's a type of It's chip. a word that goes before chicken. <laughs> that was the Damn best word. That was good. That was good. So if I don't keep that stuff in the house, then I go looking for something else. If we keep fruit, vegetables, and stuff in the house that that's good for us, that's what we'll gravitate towards. I want something with crunch. Of course, we wouldn't need to have this discussion. If cannabis NB had fucking stock on that, what? On yeah, that. How? I had, I had a an email today or a message sent me today by a, another honorary asshole stating that on the weekend Fredericton was fully stocked on the south side with everything that we said they didn't have. Oh, good. I Why check every we... day again. I checked this afternoon online. Looks like we sold out completely. <laughs> <laughs> So why do you think Cannabis MB can fix your eating problem? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. I've most done. people that come out of there want something to eat, not the other way around. No, I'm specifically interested in the CBD oil, zero So THC. you can work out, is what exactly. you're Exactly. Okay. Oh, for um, pain? Pain therapy? Yes, I, oh, okay. there's a good customer, a good friend of mine. Uh, his name is Jay. He um, has been in the store, and he's... Basically, um, he has physical health problems as well, too. And he's got a medical prescription for it, so he never runs out or whatever. Yeah. But he has to go to... Um, you realize that taking CBD oil doesn't solve the problem. It just reduces the pain level. That's right. So going to the gym, knowing there's pain, but masking it isn't going to help you. There's other health benefits as well, too. Why do you need to go to well? gym? Why burn do I off need? the calories that he eats. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Okay. So and for me, it's so a good walk, mental stress. So walking one reliever. Yeah. You you I you streets, dude. Walk. No, I, I, I would I would. Walking for me is not. And not an issue. If you knew me a little bit more. Well, I know you walk places because you don't have a vehicle, but I mean walk for the exercise. No, I'd, ra I'd rather run. Oh, well, I'd start with walking and lead up to running. <laughs> I'm just saying... People you, used to describe me in two ways. They would say, Moyer, you have... I saw you going to the post office the other day. Jesus, you have two speeds, fast, and what in the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, but for, for me, the gym is, okay, is so, my stress reliever. Okay, so there's, there's something else you're using. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Carry on then, brother. So, yeah. so what is your next step from here? Well, I was 2.15 this morning. Maybe in a later episode or whatever, we'll have a, a recap and I'll just touch base at the end of it or whatever. Have you picked tell you what. yet? What do you plan to do tomorrow? Different than you did today. Tomorrow... I am probably going to um, start weaning myself off and probably I'm going to go back on keto. Radical plan. This is how we make it. We start the United Assholes diet plan. You have to send a picture to us as a group 
of what you're going to eat before you eat it. And we all chime in. Not you, anybody. And it's a subscription service. I'm down. Right. So we get the picture of the pie. I'm so down. And we berate you. And we go, put that fucking pie down. What the fuck? Do you really fucking need another piece of pumpkin pie? That's what you want to put in your body. You want to get on the scales for me right now? Go get in the fucking scales. Oh, throw that pie in the garbage. And all right, fuck, fine, you assholes. So yeah, look at United pay. A-Holes on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. <laughs> and we'll no be more than happy to... Yeah. No pictures of your spouses, please. <laughs> I mean, personally, I'd pay premium price for that. There's our first subscriber. How much? 50. I'll take it. Jesus. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Martin over there. Like a, Everything's a business. Like a one-time thing, you buy it, and then you no, just... No, per this- month. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, we'll take it. You text me your pictures, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, wait a hey, second. Hey, if anybody's gonna get her pictures, it's me. <laughs> <laughs>